So this is one of the best budget projectors that we have tested. Let's take a closer look. Okay, so let's whiz through the unboxing of this, the Vanco Leisure 420 Home Theatre Projector. And the first thing you'll notice is it comes in a lovely carry case. And I'm, I'm not joking, guys. It really is a very nice feeling, good quality carry case. And that is very, very unusual for budget projectors at this end of the market. So here it is. It's a black and grey number, and it's got that god-awful lens cap on the front of it, which I really just wish that either they would attach or don't bother putting on in the first place, because I've already lost it. I haven't, but you know what I mean. So in terms of feel and quality, this feels robust and definitely better than some of the budget projectors we've looked at in the past. Now, a few nice features on the top, you'll notice straight away you've got your controls, which although I'm shining a light directly at them, they're still very, very difficult to read, but you've got the menu, the source, the on and off, play and pause, and then the directional. So nice to have those there. Slightly odd positioning for your inputs, they're all on the side and the power is also on the side. Now, they've even gone to the trouble of giving you a warning not to look directly into the lens. Speaking of the lens, you can focus adjust from the top, and you've also got a keystone correction. Now, I wouldn't say that's full keystone. It offers probably about 5 or 10% of give. So again, another nice feature with this projector, and again, one that you wouldn't expect at this budget, is the SD card slot. And you've also got two HDMI inputs. A very helpful little foot at the bottom of the front of the projector gives you the option to lift it by probably about an inch in total. So for those of you that don't have a screen to project it against, you can get a portable projector screen from Vankyo. It costs around $25 to $30, same in pounds, and it gives you 100 inches at a 16-9 ratio. But I do have a fixed screen, so I'm just going to lower that now and see what type of picture we can get. So down it comes, covering my TV... And we're just going to set it up on a table. This is approximately about 12 or 13 feet away from the screen. And I'm just going to be using my Apple TV 4K, which is going to give it the best possible input source so that you can get a better idea. Now, listen to the sound on this, guys. I was impressed. <laughs> So this is a 480p projector, so it's not HD, and that's one thing that you need to be aware of when you're buying a projector at this price range. You'll often see that it supports 1080p or 720p, but the native resolution is often less. And that's just saying that it will support an HD source going in. So how does this projector perform? Well, I believe that at 90 inches and above, which is the image that you're seeing now, I think it's just pushing it too far. You can see in the bottom right corner, the logo is slightly out of focus. In fact, all four corners are. This works much better when you reduce the screen size to between 50 and 70 inches. That's the optimum for this projector. And at that point, you do get a very good image. And even with the light on, you're not getting a bad image. And it's even better, obviously, when you turn the light off. Now, as I said previously, 50 to 75 inches is probably the optimum. Here, I'm getting 55 inches, and that is from a distance away of approximately five and a half feet. So obviously, you will need a little bit more space if you want a bigger image. So who buys this type of projector? Well, this retails at around 100 to 110 pounds, similar amount in US dollars, and I think that that means it's an occasional use projector, or it's a kid's projector. So brilliant for a kid's room if you want movie night, you, you know, turn the lights off, get the big screen, they're gonna absolutely love it. I don't think it's got the capability to be your main home cinema projector. But this, my friends, is a very nice little package from Vankyo. It comes in a very easy to carry carry case, very good quality, and the build and the design is also very good. I'll leave the links in the description if you wanna find out more, but as always, folks, thanks for watching this video, and I will see you on the next one.